welcome back to the channel and happy patch day. So today, you guys, we received a brand new free update for The Sims 4 at 11 a.m. P.S. Frickin' T. And your girl was stalking Origin like a hawk to get this update because there are going to be plentiful brand new things added to the game, such as a brand new career, some amazing creative sim objects that kind of reflect the brand new career, and some other just amazing little finds that are kind of sprinkled throughout this patch. So in order to update your game you need to close it down if it's already kind of been running before 11 a.m pst or whatever just close it down refresh your origin it should automatically update but if it doesn't make sure that you update it manually also remove all of your mods i'm not sure exactly how big this patch is but there could definitely be some conflicting issues with those now i will i will be honest i'm going a little rogue here i do actually have ui cheats enabled um pre-patch so we'll see if there's any hiccups with that other than that, I think we should be good to go. I'm in a brand new vanilla game, um, so there shouldn't be any issues. So we're going to go ahead and start off with the objects in Creative Sim. So I did already kind of like see uh, this outfit that Tyler is wearing in the Maxis Monthly. However, there are also a couple other objects that I don't think they showed in that particular showcase. So we get this brand new amazing sweater. I love it, this sweater so much. In the back, there are these amazing little like elbow patches and then underneath that we get some brand new pair of pants some brand new pair of pants I don't know that sounded weird but we get a brand new pair of pants as well and I like these because they're kind of like this cross between casual and business so I think the style that they are going for with these items is literally business cash which is perfect so there is that let me just go and show you guys a couple of the swatches because they do come in like the two-tone color split they also come in the solid colors as well as some other options so I think we're gonna stick with this one here and then I'm not sure if this shirt is new so don't smack me <laughs> if it's not but I noticed it and it definitely fits the theme very well um, but I don't know I can't really tell so if it's new let me know in the comments down below if it's old also let me know so I can get my facts straight but uh, there is that now this sweatshirt here is really cool I had no idea we were getting this has like a little brain um, it's just like a crew neck sort of a sort of a dealio and then over here we have one that is like um what is it called like a little skew bar I think is what it is I don't know but I really like these little options as well as this one which kind of has like this color blocking idea um and then there are the rest of like the color options so I like this too I think it's really cool again kind of casual kind of like you know chill and relax you can pair this with the pants you can do a whole bunch of different things I actually think I have an outfit with this one um so that's what the brand new shirt the new pants and base game shoes this here I wasn't expecting okay so <laughs> I've been giving the Sims so much flack for this Moschino um, collaboration that they did I know it's not geared towards us as a fan base but more or less what I've come to understand is it's just about getting the Sims out there that I can appreciate and it just it, for whatever reason it's not the first thing that stood out to me when they did this collab I'm thinking okay well like obviously as a Sims player you're gonna want it right uh, but it's not necessarily for that you know it's more of like getting the brand out there that type of a thing and so for us <laughs> they did give us a free Moschino um, inspired sweatshirt so I appreciate that I, I, I'm glad that I realized that now because at first I was like hell no am I I'm not spending no $222 on some metal earrings but again it's a little bit deeper than that so those are all of the brand new shirts and stuff that we got and again I paired them in a few different outfits you can kind of get like an idea of what they would look like I really like Tyler by the way he is so super duper freaking cute and both of these sims Skyler Skyler oh wow oh, ship name uh Scarlet and Tyler will be available on the gallery of Gen 2 6 of 6 they are completely base game minus Tyler's hair but everything else is base game and mostly using some of the new objects or most of the new objects from this update so here is our beloved scar she is seriously so cute i love this freaking outfit i thought this was like two different pieces at first and i was gonna come i was gonna come for the sims team reusing what looks like a dress from uh get together but it's not and this outfit is everything like oh my god i love the full body outfits that literally look like they're two different pieces just kind of like you know 
paired perfectly together. Um, what I love about this one is that there are a lot of fun options here, some that wouldn't you wouldn't expect, and then other ones that are just very, like, you know, normal and whatever. But, like, this, like, this is cool. I love what they did with this particular outfit. And I think it looks so flattering on Scarlet, especially paired with the base game leggings or tights. Um, and then also these brand new pop-ups. When I saw these in the Maxis Monthly, I wasn't particularly a fan. I'm like, these kind of remind me of like genie shoes or something. They were just a little bit like offbeat for me, but I like them. I like them a lot and I think they fit perfectly with this outfit. Also, this outfit looks great paired with the little feather earrings, which I never can find a use for. So there is that. And I do believe Scarlet is also wearing another brand new outfit. Um, here, which looks like this. It has like a cardigan, a little button up underneath. It almost looks like she is wearing like this pleather, um, kind of like jegging legging material type of pants or just maybe some slouchy jeans. I love that too. And then I paired them with some base game booties as well as this particular jewelry set, which we got, I want to say in December for like a holiday update. I'm not 100% sure. Somewhere in there, but I really like this too. And if I can find it, which I hope that I'll be able to, um, it should be somewhere in here. And also, if you're having a hard time filtering things out or just finding things, filtering it out through base game will definitely make things easier to select. And this outfit is in the full body. Ah, I know what the problem is. Party. Okay. And here it is. So we have, again, a bunch of different color options, which I obviously approve of. I think that is so vital. Um, I hate when we get new objects and there's like three different options. But I love the fact that I think that CC creators are going to be able to do so freaking much with these I feel like we're gonna be able to have even more options on top of options which is quite nice so if we go into tops there are a few different things um, to be had I think where are they they're right here so we get a brand new sweatshirt <laughs> again the Moschino sweatshirt and then we also have this kind of crew neck button-up ensemble um, it's kind of dated a little bit but I like this too I think this looks good she's wearing this I want to say for her winter outfit. So yeah, that's kind of what it looks like paired up there. And I think that's about all. So um, without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in game and check out the brand new objects as well as the brand new freelancer career. All right, you guys. So here we are inside of my mid-century modern home that I created a while back. If you guys want to download it, it is available already on the gallery at Gen 2606. However, do keep in mind, obviously, Obviously, I built this house pre-patch, so these rooms are a little bit different, but if you guys want me to go ahead and kind of like throw up this freelancer room onto the gallery, I totally will do so that you guys can just kind of plop it in your game, and then you can check out all the brand new objects and whatnot. So right now, we have our Tyler working on a little bit of programming. I'm going to let him go ahead and continue doing what he's doing, and I'm going to show you guys some of the brand new objects. So the very first thing that we have have here you guys is a brand new beautiful bookshelf that definitely has like this craftsman look about it um it looks like it literally was made uh by hand so here are some books we have a little shrub we also have some of these kind of like literature books i'm not sure maybe what it's on like digital freelancing or something i freaking have no idea anyways um yeah that's what it looks like and it comes in a bunch of different variations this painting or picture that you guys see that's actually available in the debug mode but i liked how it looked so i just just went ahead and kind of put it on the shelf also they are slottable so you can fit some things on here if you wanted to like decorate it or customize it further and then we have the z brand new desk so yes these are kind of like paired together to create like this l shape effect i love this desk in fact i love this entire aesthetic i think it's really 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 pleasing to the eye and i hope that they create more objects kind of revolving around this particular style um and so i did that and i like the way that it looks it kind of just gives you more countertop space, but there is a little bit of clipping here because I overlapped it. But I do feel like this looks great in this shape style. Also, we got a couple new uh, desk decorative objects and also the trash man's coming to take out the trash, <laughs> but they missed a bag, me. Um, so if you hear him, you know, tooting around outside, that's what's happening. There's no dinosaurs and this isn't Jurassic Park, but you, you, you get the gist. So anyways, um, we have this little, ooh, hello there, sir. Oh, he's just... <laughs> He's just trucking around. Scoot, scoot. Um, so we have this open face novel book with a little pen, some scribbles, and some beautiful coffee stains. And then we have, oh my god, 
This is probably the most exciting thing about this patch. We actually have a brand new pen holder with a pair of scissors. I'm going to be honest, I am tired of this little pen shindig with the little cutesy dootsy bear on it. Like, I'm over it. You know, we needed this for a very long time. And I know it's something so small and minuscule, but it really does make my heart happy. And I'm super excited for that. And also, we got a hand, a little woodworking hand, like a reference hand. It kind of reminds me of the little like um, like moldable people like that a lot of artists use for like pose referencing and stuff. It kind of reminds me of that, but just like a big oversized hand. And then don't quote me on this, but I feel like this robot thing is new, but it also might be old too. So it's base game. I mean, you, you'll have it in your game, um, but I, I don't remember ever seeing this. So let me know in the comments down below. But then also we have our DigiPad, which actually serves a vital purpose in the freelancer career if you're going to become a digital artist, which is very exciting because I still stick to like the more traditional um, route when it comes to painting. I really love the easel and this just didn't really, I love the concept of it, but it didn't really serve a purpose. And it feels like now, at least what I gathered from the Maxis Monthly video, and now it's like vital, like you need it for that. So that's kind of cool. And then also we have these bad boys, which are really, really, really nifty. Um, they're basically kind of like paintings leaned up against the wall. And then there's something tucked in there just in case we don't like get to that point to where I can show you um, but these do come as a reward object you don't necessarily have to buy them in the buy catalog but you can if you'd like to and then there's also some other things but we'll get into that in just a moment uh, but I really wanted to go ahead and just kind of like showcase some of the I believe we are a freelance programmer uh, also because I do have the UI cheats enabled I noticed that um, doing like the hot options like right from his little interface here it doesn't work so in order to uh, check for open auditions and also change between freelancing uh, careers I actually have to do it the manual way through a computer or a cell phone again I do think this is because obviously the mod needs to be updated but if you guys don't want to get rid of the mod I don't think you have to because everything seems to be working just fine so what we're gonna do is we are actually going to have him go over here and check for gigs. Remember, he can also change his freelancer trade. There are three different options Perfect to choose from, which I wish there was more. I really do. But three is a great start. And there are plenty of gigs, you guys. So I do believe Mr. Tyler is a level five programmer. So he's kind of in that middle sweet spot here. Right off the jump, he does have the following options. He's got help encrypting private data looking for encrypted person um we also have another custom merch website oh my god that's some shade right there you go and then product landing pages bubble security for bubble space and then i think these ones are kind of beyond wait are these grade okay these ones i think are beyond his pay grade obviously level nine he's a level five uh which is kind of cool so as you can tell the, the further you go in your leveling for whatever freelancing career you're, you're obviously pursuing you'll be able to unlock more and more options so um i think for him we are like i said we're kind of skilled so maybe we should do another custom merch website and he will get 2765 simoleons but it is due on thursday at 9 a.m all right let's go and choose this one so he went ahead and landed the gig and it's right here um in this little tab and it says invite over director and co-stars, which is quite interesting. So I don't know what that is like pertaining to, but maybe you can like, I, I don't know. I mean, again, some of this stuff might be because of like the, the mod, but I think we could if we wanted to. That's cool. Okay. Anyway, uh, we're actually going to have him go and kind of like start on that so he can make a website page. He can also chat with the client. Ooh, let's go and chat with the client real quick. Okay. We're doing some chatting and then poor Scarlett over here really wants to go go and choose her career but we got Tyler <laughs> hogging up the freaking computer so maybe hopefully we can unlock that sweet new laptop so that Scarlett can use it um, and I think to unlock the laptop you need to be in the programming freelancing 
career. So Perfect. just keep that in mind. All right, so Tyler is going to go ahead and do that. He's going to chat with the he's going to chat with the client. He's also going to start making that web page here, and it basically just looks like he's just using the computer kind of traditionally. I don't know though how much um, how much effort it's going to take to create this web page, but it seems to be going quite quickly, like super duper duper fast, which is awesome. And you can work any time that you want to. There's no pressure. There's no buzz. Um, it's just kind of whatever you need some simoleons, which is perfect. I already have so many ideas for this this career, like Nixon. <gasps> I could totally see him doing something from this, but I'm not really sure what. But for Scarlett, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to join this career. So you're going to hit your phone, or if you wanted to, you could obviously hit join a career. This actually still works. It's just the newer options that come with the patch that aren't working because of the cheats. Um, but everything else is, is working just fine. So yeah, she's going to go and select a career and it's going to show up under uh, entertainer. So it's going to have like this little paper plane, which is kind of cool. And here it is. Freelancer, available trades, digital artist, programmer, and writer. Be your own boss. Set your own work schedule. Sounds good, right? If you're both self-disciplined and determined, a career as a freelancer might be the right path for you. Multiple trades available to work within agencies are standing by to connect you with eager clients today perfect so it's kind of like a self-employed sort of a deal uh, which obviously me kind of being self-employed I love that I love that so much um so yeah so we can select an agency we can choose between the computer experts it says want in on a little secret you don't have to be an expert about computers to be a great freelancer all you need is a pc a search engine and the iron will to deal with ideas people uh so so still, it helps to be an expert. Electrified artist. So this description actually has a typo, and I'm feeling a little threatened because somebody is clearly coming for my typo queen crown, but I am also getting a whole giggle and a half because this ish could literally happen to anybody, and wait for it, I am actually shocked that I caught this. So it says, can a digital painting make you cry? Right, because no one knows. This is party aka partly because many would consider the very idea frivolous but it's also because whoever successfully answers this question must first have answered several others why do we cry why do we laugh or love or smile what are the touchstones of our emotions oh this is deep until now the people who ask such questions tended not to be the same people who created digital art instead they were writers filmmakers painters music Musicians, they were in the traditional sense artists. We're about to change that tradition. The name of our agency is Electrified Artists. Ooh, yeah, I like that. No, I really, I really like that. That whole description definitely made me feel very motivated. Okay, and so the next one is the freelance writer. So basically, freelance words is the agency, and it says when people see us in the street, they point and exclaim, "Them fighting." words oh my god okay they don't perhaps someday we handle jobs ranging from proofreading <laughs> okay we oh my god we need a fighting words to help with electrified artists description um but anyways okay and perhaps someday we handle jobs ranging from proofreading to ghostwriting for famous people. Grab a keyboard, boot up your favorite word processor, and join us. How ironic is that? I am literally dying. So the cool thing about Scarlett is she actually has skills both in writing and being an artist. So for now, we're going to go and join Electrified Artists, which is, again, a freelance, um, which is a freelance artist. So what we're going to have her do is we are going to have her go and, because she can do everything from her phone, which is quite nice. We're never going to go and check for some gigs because Mr. Tyler over here is being a whole hog and a half. Um, and then when she's done with that, I think we'll be able to start working on some things. I think most of this stuff is probably computer-based, but also on her digipad. So what we're going to do is we are going to to just kind of read through some of these we could a portrait for posterity a uh, portrait of a deceased relative <laughs> oh my god any films movie poster oh i like that one and you know what actually i'm already i'm already gonna pick this one um but there is also the 100 percent definitely legal job and then all these other ones unfortunately we don't qualify for but the biggest one like the big cojona is movie character concepts so there are a lot of options a lot of 
the different cool things that you can choose from. I like that you're able to actually choose what your workday consists of. So we're going to go and pick the indie film md films movie poster for a whopping 375 simoleons this will be due by wednesday and we only need a level two of the painting skill in order to uh qualify and there's a cute little description which you guys can go ahead and pause the video and read but uh <laughs> i think i've had enough of reading for a day because uh -huh. i feel like i'm gonna screw up and then i'm just gonna basically eat my words so anyways all right so what do we need to do we need to start on this poster i'm wondering if we can actually start here so uh we can scrap the small classic painting that we had originally started earlier i'm gonna have her go and do that not sure she's gonna be able to get over there because oh my god tyler is having the time of his life he's literally screaming at the freaking at the computer all right so it's going to be under the freelancer uh pie menu and then it's going to be called splash art i'm assuming is what we are this is what we're supposed to be doing but we're gonna have to go and just make double extra sure once we're done and i think it's gonna take her a little bit longer than it might be actually be taking tyler he's really working hard but let's just go and zoom through a little bit oh my god scarlet is seriously such a freaking chatterbox like all he's trying to do is get his work done and she's over here nomming off his damn ears like a damn gummy bear all right cool so we already completed that that didn't take scarlet a long time at all and i think the next thing that we have to do is we have to um do what now like what are we supposed to do hold on he actually just completed it cool give this website page a name so this is for merch so maybe we'll just call it <laughs> this okay so you know how earlier i said ui cheats appear to have no effect on the game whatsoever. freaking ever well it does it has a crucial effect to the game in fact it almost makes the new freelance career completely freaking useless so how do you know if your cheats or mods are affecting your game well look at how the interface looked earlier and look how it looks now so now we can see the tasks that we are actually supposed to complete and honestly i probably would have never known something was wrong wrong unless I um took it out <laughs> so just gonna save you all the trouble there so it appears there are more things that we need to do so we actually need to create three website Shots. pages instead of the one that I thought we had to create and then just waiting until the time ran out no 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 no. that's exactly what you don't want to do so we're gonna have uh, Mr. Tyler go and snag a little snack here just you know just to kind of work up the energy to go and work on website number three I did actually have him work on another website and it was just called Sims for Us, like Toys R Us, ha ha ha, but like Sims for Us, yeah, okay. Anyways, uh, Scarlet took a little napsy nap, and it looks like she too has to chat with her client, and she also needs to get her splash art approved, which we have right over here. <laughs> kind of creepy scar it's kind of creepy and then that little thing that i told you earlier about the gig remember like invite over the director and client or whatever the heck it was yeah that's not a thing okay so i hope that you guys are watching this video through and not you know just like what the hell is going on yeah that it's not a thing it's not a thing it was a fluke because of the mod so remove your mods moral of the story all right, so we're going to have Scar go over here, and I'm pretty sure she can chat with her client. Oh, no, she can't. That would have been cool. That would have made a lot of sense, too, also. But it uh, looks like we're going to have to wait for Tyler to speed it on up here. Um, Let me see how it is going. I'm pretty sure after he completes this last web page, we should get a little performance boost, but I might eject that up royalty by thinking I could finesse the system. <laughs> I, love to, I love to be a rebel sometimes when it comes to the mods, but he's just... Just about done with this and we have reached level six of the programming skill and holy guacamole holy mackies okay he just earned like forty two hundred dollars oh ho, ho, my goodness uh give this website page a name we're gonna call it simulated Sims. I don't know, just whatever, you know, doesn't really need to be perfect. After Tyler's website was approved, the e-commerce startup immediately got to work. Turns out they're actually very competent and the website caught on. For his speedy completion of the job, the, the company gave him a small portion of their initial sales as a bonus. Oh, <gasps> what? Oh my goodness.
bonus. That is super duper cool. Okay, so that's why we got the extra simoleon. So I'm actually going to have Tyler go ahead and sit on over here real quick, real fast. All right. And then... I'm going to have Scarlet come over here. She's going to chat with her clients. So let's go and do that. And then we're going to do the rest of the other things um, that we need to do as well, such as obviously getting our splash art approved. Oh, my God. This is such a cool freaking update. Yeah. I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Oh, this is everything. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So I'm a little worried by why our thing still looks like that. But um, I'm thinking this should actually work now. And it does. We can also do something a little low paying like hide my data which I think we're gonna do that um it seems like they're they're kind of like changing between each day because I felt like we had more options yesterday than we do today which is quite cool actually so let's do hide my data and I'm trying to get him a promotion because once we're well, not a promotion but I'm trying to over max him right so once he does that he'll be able to get the new laptop and if you guys are interested in seeing more swatches I'll save that towards the end of the video I just kind of wanted to get to the good stuff real quick okay don't oh. judge me all right awesome so now the uh, last trick of the trade is to go over here and get this approved so scarlet's going to go and send this painting for approval and hold on hold on scarlet's indie film poster immediately resonated with moviegoers looking to attend the del sal the del sol valley film fest as they started clamoring for copies of the poster to be made available for purchase recognizing the added revenue that scarlet's the scar <laughs> scarlet's <laughs> scarlet's work will bring the film's producer authorized a bonus payment to be deposited directly into scar's bank account wow we are killing it oh my god approved that is exactly what we were looking for keep up the great work scarlet and we did get a little tiny bonus nothing nothing too crazy here um, but I think our next goal is to probably, you guys, um, try to overmax the careers so that we can actually uh -huh. see what oh, we get. Gotcha. Just like as a little demonstration um, at what we get for oh, being promoted, kind of, sort of. Because there's, there's not actual promotions in this game. I just want to go ahead and clarify. Now, once you overmax, I think you also get something else. The thing that's hiding behind these, uh, these little paintings here. But I'm going to have Tyler go and just kind of work on this for a quick little second um it looks like vlad is trying to hit us up which i'm obviously not interested in i think as we are working on this we are getting um let me see if this is true i feel like it might be true but i'm not sure like our performance is going up but i don't think that it is it might have been just my eyes playing tricks on me but uh yeah i'm gonna have them go and i'm gonna work on these gigs both of them and then i think when we over max i'll show you guys what the rewards are so i have a quick little update for you guys so scarlet right now is currently working on the perfect app icon and so she has to create a three different icons which she did on her little sketch pad here and then she has to send them off for approval well unfortunately to Two of the icons out of the three that she created were rejected and it says this work doesn't meet our quality standards it needs to be edited before you can attempt to submit it again paintings can be edited on the digitalistic sketch pad and basically uh that's about it so we are trying to have her re-edit these pictures or these icons so that they will meet um her clients standards now it does appear tyler on the other hand had a little issue with creating his encrypt files oh no something went wrong with the encryption the file got corrupted and can't be opened at all anymore luckily you were able to revert it back to the original please try again so while in the tedious process of trying to get these two to over max their freelancing career, Scarlet here did receive a little moodlet called Shared Vision. It's not always to agree with someone you just met, but some things just click. This project has great potential. Finally! Oh my god, that was freaking so so hard okay so after working literally my nalagas to the bone i was able to overmax both of the sims however the rewards that i thought i were getting weren't exactly what i ended up getting so to save myself another like i don't know hour of grinding until the next overmax um i just went ahead and cheated something so long story short when your sims overmax aka get 
promoted, uh, you will get a little notification and they're not going to get promoted until they're probably about right about here. Um, and then I noticed working on some of the harder gigs uh, definitely helped, you know, propel that a little bit quicker and whatever. Um, talking to a client before I got started on the project really did actually help most of my graphics or projects get approved um, versus me not talking to the client. I don't know if that was just me, but it's just something I noticed. Um, so Scarlett has been recognized for great performance and client satisfaction. Dealing with fickle clients and finger cramps <laughs> were worth it in the end. In addition to raising her rate, Scarlett also received rewards. The Better at a Pair of Paintings Supreme Freelancer Award increased pay on all gigs, which is obviously amazing. And then uh, Mr. Tyler Downey here, he was recognized as well for great performance and client satisfaction. All those long hours spent chatting with all the clients and reading documentation is paying off. In addition to raising his rate, Tyler also received rewards. He received 1,792 simoleons, the ability to overclock PCs. That's kind of cool. Supreme Freelancer Award and increased pay on all gigs. So I believe the next uh, Overmax, he'll actually get that fancy dancy new laptop, which we cheated it. So I'm going to show you it in just two seconds. But, <laughs> you know, um, that's cool if you don't want to buy it. And then overclocking a PC will increase the speed of completing any programming interactions for a period of time. Ooh, I like that. Okay, cool. So there's some great little rewards there. So let's go ahead back into our office and we are going to take a little peek -a -deek at some of these swatches. Okay, so here we have the paintings. Again, you can buy these. You can get them for a reward if you over max, you know, the freelancing career. But I really love these. Ooh, oh my God. These are actually super freaking gorgeous. <gasps> Look at the little hot dog. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. And then these two, which are obviously so freaking gorgeous, would have loved to have these as a wall option, but I'm sure somebody is going to do that. Or you could just like take a picture of it in game and then do it. But I love that. That's actually really cool. And then so here is the brand new laptop. Also, if you do have two Sims or more in the freelancing career, make sure that they each have their own individual laptop or computer because just Having these two take turns was literally like a game of musical chairs that I was not willing to play, okay? All right, so for this one, we have just the basic keto colors, and then we've also got some chroma colors, which are super exciting. So I don't know if these are chroma. These are like illuminated, but I know this one here, once you actually get in game, it will start cycling through like um. I think it's called like an RBG keyboard or something. I don't know. Really, really like that. Uh, but here are just a couple other swatches of some of the new objects. Yes, these are cool. And they all have the same coinciding theme so that you can color match if you want. Uh, also, I don't think I told you, but that chair right there is also brand new, which is pretty spiffy. Um, and then the rest of the stuff is either base game or just kind of like whatever. But yeah, so that's pretty much everything um, in a nutshell. I do want to show you guys really quick before we wrap up this video the uh, the beautiful little chroma. Uh, is it doing it? Oh, it is. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my god. I am seriously in love with this laptop. And how cool is it to be able to like put this in your inventory and go to like a little cafe um, or just, you know, maybe to the park if there's like space available for that and just work like out in the public. And you can take your digipad too. <gasps> so if I had to pick between these two careers, which one is my absolute favorite? Um, Scarlet's is the easiest. Granted, there was a time where she had to like work on three freaking icons. And no matter what I did, her clients were not satisfied. So I had to keep going and like re-editing them and re-editing them and re-editing them. Um, I also did choose ones that I thought looked better than the other. And those seemed to get, to get approved versus the ones that looked like crap. Um, but then also, again, as I mentioned earlier, talking to the clients before seemed to have a pretty significant impact on the result. But also, uh, we have earned quite a bit of fame to Mr. Uh, program Freelancer here. And for whatever reason, he got like a kind of a bad reputation in the midst of everything. So all in all, you guys, this is a savage. Okay. 
savage update savage like i absolutely freaking love this i think this is amazing this is going to provide probably hours <laughs> because that's how long it took me to freaking over max um hours of gameplay also it's going to kind of like deepen up things a little bit for you kind of get you out of the normal you know get you a little more involved with your sims and oh my god look at the back of that oh my god that is so cool and i don't know i like it a lot i really do if i had to pick between the two um i definitely would say i kind of think i might actually like the uh programming <laughs> career better i think it was kind of fun um but also to be more hands on scarlet's was definitely a good option and then there's that one last career option which i am going to leave to you guys to explore or if you want i'm sure somebody is going to cover it and uh yeah all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video god it was so freaking long um and if you guys are again interested hold on tyler it's your job agency calling just a friendly reminder that there are plenty of gigs available to work on if you're interested in earning some money no pressure oh that's cool you get a little friendly uh, reminder to get your button gear i like that okay and then oh my god <laughs> there is actually more have a heart need a code oh okay and we like did everything to um like we did all of these actually when i was getting him over max and it seems like even more options just came through like some of these i haven't seen so it seems like there is definitely plenty and plenty of gigs to kind of keep it fresh and new and that you can cycle through so that's pretty dope i like that but uh yeah again these sims will be available on z gallery oh. gen 2606 they are primarily base game one of these two have something from i want to say either like get to work or something which i don't know what it is but other than that they're completely base game and if you're interested again throw in the gallery gen 2606 and with that said you guys i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope that you all enjoyed and if you did you know what to do boo don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i'll see you all next time bye guys Stop